Welcome to Smart Business Show, and I have no idea what episode this is, but it's for August 18th. Today, we're going to talk uh, about a quote from The Prosperous Coach, which says, The pro coach knows there is no such thing as a high-paying client. Your fees are just a filter for the clients you'd love to coach. And you know, a lot of you aren't coaches, um, a lot of you aren't doing training, mentoring, stuff like that, and that's cool. A lot of you may think then that this doesn't apply to you, but it's not. But it does, sorry, <laughs> but it does. It does apply to you. It applies to every job, really, right? And you talk about it in um, Book Yourself Solid, basically the same thing, your velvet rope policy, where you uh, have a velvet rope and your fees are part of that, and that's it. Like, I only take, you know, that's your project minimum as well. You only take projects, say, over $1,500. Um, and so that's what this is talking about. When you look at, like, if you're always stuck at low rates, you're going to have bad clients. That's, and that's part of it. Um, I had clients that started with me at, you know, say $50 an hour, uh, not that I use hourly rates, oh, and now they still work with me at $250 an hour. Every time I raised my prices, I got busier. Uh, and I could say no more often. I had to take less projects, right? I went from needing like, you know, 30 projects in a year to like six or seven. Um, one thing you should try is to every even number proposal, you need to raise your rates. So... Um, if you're at 50, so every even number proposal, you start charging $80 an hour. That's it. And once you realize you're winning just as many, probably, then you make 80 the new base rate. And then you um, make the, you know, the high rate, in air quotes for those listening, uh, you make the high rate, say 100 bucks, and that's what you do. Um, what you'll find is you're going to get better clients. They're going to treat you more professionally. They're going, because they're also changing their mindset. As you raise your rates, these clients are changing it from this is like a big expense I have to make to this is an investment in my business. And they're going to treat you different because of how they're thinking about that. So your rates are a filter for your ideal client. If you have low rates, you're likely going to have bad clients. Almost everyone I know that's like, oh, the clients, they treat me like crap and they do this and they do that. It's one of the things when you dig into it is they're charging really low rates. They're just not earning that much. So they their clients think of it as an expense and if it's an expense it's like tooth fighting tooth and nail for everything um and that's not what you want to be that's not the business you want to run that's not going to get you the life you want to live or anything like that so don't do it raise your rates use your pricing as a filter for the clients for the ideal client that you want it's certainly one of the one of the things in there that you have to have uh, if you want to have awesome clients thanks for watching